Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher, good evening. Yes, Hi. teacher, good evening. Thank you, good evening, welcome. Thank you Hello. for being on time. Thank you, nice. Let's see, we are uh, 13 right now in the class, okay? So let's see, thank you for your cameras. How are you, Hilda? I'm fine, thank you, I'm <laughs> teacher. How about I'm, you? I'm great. I'm a little bit tired, but it's okay. I'm, I'm great. So what do you do, you Hilda? Work, um, right now, I no no work yet. You are the, you are not working right now. Okay, no, you are not working. For the, for the pandemic? Okay, for the pandemic, because of the pandemic. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So in my case, yeah, I do. I do have a job in the morning, okay? I start, imagine, I start my first job at five o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> no, I get up, I uh, <laughs> yeah, imagine. Yeah, I get up like at four, four fifteen. I put the alarm like, every day at 4 15 in the morning and i go to bed like at 11 because as soon as we finish the class so i have another class from 9 to 10 okay mm -hmm. and when i finish the two classes so i have to upload the videos on youtube and sometimes okay it's a you know the video is for one hour right the whole hour mm -hmm. so sometimes it it took like i don't know like 30 minutes okay to upload the videos on youtube so no se, no se suben rápido. so i have to be there waiting and waiting and waiting for the obviously i'm I done know. doing something else right no es que ahí estoy yeah. solo viendo so i'm doing something else because uh, i'm also a student okay like you i'm also a student besides that i'm also a student so i had to do uh homeworks but it's not like a homework but i'm working on my thesis okay so estoy trabajando una tesis entonces aprovecho ese tiempito en lo que los videos están you know uh, being uploading so estoy ahí working on something uh about what is your thesis ah uh, it's 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 a master degree it's a oh. master degree about teaching, okay, at mm -hmm. university level. So I'm a teacher. I like, I'm a, I have a, a, a bachelor degree on teaching. So, and mm -hmm. I'm about to have the, the master degree as well. I recently, recently uh, finished my career too. Oh, okay. And what is your career about? Um, psychology. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, you look like you look like. Okay. <laughs> Why? Yeah. I don't know, but you. I see that you are kind of that kind of people that like that that subject. But it's nice. It's nice. So you can, especially nowadays, you can try to search for a job because a lot of people they need help because of the pandemic, children, you know yeah <laughs> so hopefully you will be able to get a job okay very soon very soon nice okay, okay. so nice thank you for the cameras mm -hmm. edwin fidel german anna Atel, astrid jessica carla eneida harold irene herbert nice uh let's see let's start with the attendance right here we have 20 participants okay so let's let me open the file right here for the attendance and it says right here assistencia okay let's see Today is Thursday, so today is Friday, okay? For us, today is Friday because tomorrow we don't have plans. Tienen vacation, mm -hmm. pero si han trabajado en la plataforma. Si no han trabajado en la plataforma, 
you don't have vacations, okay? You have to work on that. Okay, so let's see the attendance. Let's see Anna Astrid. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see Anna Bernarda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Anna Cristina. No. Anna Lisbeth. No. Um, Anna Miriam. Present, teacher. Thank you. Anna Victoria. Present. Thank you. Angie Elizabeth. Angie. Angie, Angie. No, Angie. Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you. Cindy Areli. Cindy Areli. Cordelia Elizabeth. Cordelia Elizabeth. No. Daniel Edgardo. Daniel. Present teacher. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Diana Lisbeth. Present teacher. Yeah. Thank you. Doris Maricel. Doris. No. Uh, Edwin Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Uh, Aita. Present teacher. Thank you, Aita. Eneida Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Eneida. Um, let's see, Erika Eloisa. No. Eugenia Asuncion. Eugenia. No. Fidel Natanael. Here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Francisco Javier. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, German Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you, German. Glenda Annette. Glenda. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Glenda. Uh, let's see, Harold Eduardo. Harold, Harold, Harold. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Herbert Douglas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Hilda Milagro. Here, teacher. Thank you. Then we have Ingrid Xiomara. Present, miss. Thank you. Then we have Irene Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see, we have Jaime Antonio. Jaime. Present, miss. Okay, thank you, Jaime. Uh, let's see, then we have Jefferson, Mauricio. Solo que estoy en el respectivo rancho ahorita. Okay, so Jefferson, no. Jefferson, no. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Thank you. So did I, did I mention all of you? Or there is someone that was not here and I didn't and I already mentioned? No. Okay, so let's start. Let's continue. Okay. Let me see what we have right here. Okay, so thank you. And don't forget that we need to have the camera on. Okay, so please, I would like to see your faces. Thank you, thank you, Diana. Okay, so right now we are 20 participants. So as I told you, today is Friday, right? It's not Friday, but for us it is, right? Because tomorrow we don't have class. So you can have time to rest. Okay, yo sé que de lunes a jueves los toca estar aquí. Right, so tomorrow is your day off. So hopefully you can do uh, something right interesting with your family, okay? So that you can enjoy with them, okay? So uh, just let me uh, share my screen. Just let me put something right here. It's just one click and yeah, it's there. So let me share the screen and we are going to continue. Today we we'll finish uh lesson number four and we are going to start lesson number five okay so this is the way that we will see it and 
I guess that yes, that you can see my screen, right? So let me make it bigger for you and we stop in this part. Okay, just, oh my God. Just let me, let me, let me, let me, let me see the market right here. What is it? It's right here. Okay, now it is. So we are going to start with this. Yesterday, uh, we mentioned this part, okay? Did you remember the uh, yes, no questions when we are talking about simple past, okay? So this is the rule just for us to do like a small recap. We mentioned that in, in past, we need to know the birds, okay? So I hope that you learn a couple of birds, por lo menos uno, dos, tres que se haya aprendido. In ganancia, okay, because if we want to talk in past, we need to know the birds in past. If they are irregular, so it changed, okay? So you have to know the bird in past to use it, okay? Now, if it is a regular bird, so you know that we have some rules, okay, that you can uh, see the ending of the bird and see what else you need to add in the bird, okay, to make it in past. Also, we mentioned the yes, no questions. Remember, yes, no questions with short answers. So it's what we have right here. Yes, I did, if it is possible, possible or no, I didn't, okay? If it is negative. And something nice that we mentioned is that the auxiliary did is for everyone, okay? It's not like in the bird to be that we need to be like, uh, knowing, okay, which one it's with each of the birds, okay? In this case, in past, we have did for everyone, okay? Uh, did, did I, did he, did we, so on and so on. And the answer will be the same, okay? The auxiliary did. So this is a small recap, okay? We were doing some practices right here and we will do this activity right now. Okay, this is an activity that is in the book. Okay, you will see this in the book. Okay, it says um, check six themes that you, uh, the, I'm sorry, six themes to ask your partner, then ask the questions and, and answer the questions. Okay, so look, this is something in past. Okay, write down just one. Okay. Just one, okay? Escriba una, una oración, una pregunta, okay? Using one of these examples. For example, uh, did you work last summer? Okay, so, and you are going to ask the question to somebody else. And the answer needs to be a complete answer, okay? El que le toque responder, no solo me va a decir la short answer. Yes, I did or not, I didn't. So you have to complete the answer. Look at the example right here. Did you go anywhere interesting last summer? And the answer said, yes, I did. I went to the beach almost every day and blah, 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 blah. Something else that you would like to add. So be ready with the answers because I don't know who it's going to answer the question, okay? So uh, just Keep in mind one question, okay? Tenga lista una pregunta and also the, the, the answers for all of them because you don't know which one uh, you are going to answer, okay? So it says, uh, go anywhere interesting, okay? So that's the example right here. Go anywhere interesting, okay? It says, buy anything interesting, okay? Probably you buy something interesting during the last vacations or last summer, okay? Last summer for, for us here in El Salvador, that will be last vacation, okay? It says eat any new food, okay? Probably you eat torrejas, right? You eat jocote en miel, blah, blah. So something new or something delicious. Uh, it says uh, meet any interesting people. So probably you make a new friend, You do uh, you get in contact with someone that probably it's an interesting person. Exercise or play any sport. So probably in the last vacation you play any sport or you do a few hours or minutes of exercise, work, play any games, okay? Video games or 
I don't know, football, soccer, baseball, basketball, whatever. Read any books, okay? I don't know if you read any book or something during your vacation. Take any pictures? Probably yes, right? We love to take pictures if we are eating something. So we take the picture and then we say, oh, I'm eating this, okay? So uh, wear different clothes, okay? Probably, probably if you went to El Pital, as an example, that's very cool. So probably you, you wear a different clothes, okay? And the last one says, have found, okay? So have found. So did you have fam last summer or last vacation? So those are the options, okay? Choose one, okay? Choose one because of the time. And we are going to start right now. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Okay, the, fir the first question is for Edwin Garcia. Edwin Garcia, let's see, Edwin. Uh, did you did you see any movies during the last uh, vacations? Did you uh, did you see any movie during the last vacation or last summer, Edwin? No, I I didn't. And I, I didn't time. Okay, thank you, Edwin. So let's see, no, I didn't. So that's the short answer and it's okay. So now the compliment will be, no, I didn't, I didn't see or watch any movie because I didn't have time. No tuve tiempo, okay? I didn't have time. So remember that when we have an auxiliary that is did, so the verb will be the same. Al verbo no me le va a quitar ni poner porque tenemos un auxiliar. In this case, look at right here in this example, this is a positive. Yes, I did, punto, and this is another sentence. So we have two sentences in one. So look, in this case, uh, the bird is in the past because we don't have an auxiliary right here, okay? But in negative, if we say, uh, no, I didn't, I didn't have time. So in this case, el verbo lo dejo tal cual es porque tengo el auxiliar ahí, okay? So now, Edwin, choose one of your classmates and ask another question, okay? Choose just one of your classmates and asked uh, one of the questions. Okay. The first thing I have is Herbert Douglas. Okay, so Herbert Douglas. So ask your question, Edwin, please. Okay. Did you take any picture last summer? Okay, did yes, you take any picture last summer, uh huh, Herbert? Yes, I did. I did take any picture in the vacation. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Herbert. So, yes, I did. I took, okay? El pasado de take is took, okay? Usted me está diciendo sí, yo sí. Yo tomé fotos en mi última vacación o el verano pasado. So, yes, I did, I took, I took some or any pictures during last, during last um, weekend. Be careful with the mute. I don't know who is uh, oh, without mute right there. So, nice. Thank you. Now, Herbert, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the questions. Ana Guerra. Okay, Ana, go ahead, Herbert, with your question. Did you wear different clothes in the last weekend? Perfect. Did you, Ana, wear different clothes? 
during the last summer or the last vacation? Uh, no, I didn't. I, I, um, I Got am. Mm, pass, I pass. Am, I am stay in the past. Mm -hmm. Remember Let that me. this is uh -huh. a simple pass. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar que vamos a usar para el negativo? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. I, ahorita la respuesta sería eh, con el con, no, porque me estuve en mi casa. Entonces sería stay, me quedé, stay. Ok, But nice. Stay in my house. Ok, perfect. So that would be, no, I didn't. I didn't wear different okay. clothes because I stayed at home. Ok. So, no, I didn't. I didn't wear, no use otra ropa, different clothes, because I was at home or I stayed at home. Okay, remember el verb to be también. Yo estuve en la casa. I was at home. O me quedé en la casa, como usted dice, stayed. Okay, I stayed home. It's okay. Nice. Thank you, Ana. Now, Ana, choose a different person, please. Okay, let me see. Uh, Jessica Mancia. Ask your question, Anna. One moment. Uh, did you buy anything interesting last vacation? Okay, perfect. Did you buy any interesting? Under last vacation or last summer? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Buy dijo, verdad? Exactly, this one. But. Buy anything interesting. No, I didn't buy anything interesting. Okay. Thank you, Jessica. Yeah, remember if it is a uh, negative, no, I didn't. So that is like the short answer, pero como estamos dando la respuesta corta y también la respuesta larga, okay? Ahí sería, no, I didn't, I didn't buy anything interesting because I was without money. Un ejemplo, porque no tenía dinero, because I didn't need anything else, no necesitaba nada, so. You can add extra, okay, extra information. So uh, we are going to stop right here and I will give you a short, 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 short extra homework, okay? So this is something that my best advice is do it, okay? So like in the audio, the audio, I received many of the audios, but I didn't receive all of them. So if ustedes se fijaron, no todos mandaron su audio. Ok, ahí tengo anotado quién lo mandó y quién no lo mandó. Ok, so that is something extra. Yo no lo voy a regañar ni lo voy a castigar si no mandó el audio. Ok, but this is your learning process. So you are the one that is responsible of your learning. Ok, yo le puedo desmandar 100 mil tareas, pero si usted no quiere hacer ninguna, no la va a hacer, right? So, but as I, as I told you, I will give you something very small, ok? No, yo no le voy a dejar una tarea que usted va a pasar 8 horas sentado haciéndolo. Yo le voy a dejar una tarea en la que usted en 5 minutos lo va a hacer, ok? So, uh, as a homework, we will do this, exercise C, class activity, tell the class about your partner's summer, but in this case, it will be about you. It's not your partner, it's about you, okay? You can write a very, very short or small paragraph about your the description about what you did on your last vacations. Look right here, last summer, I went to the beach. So in this case, it's Maria, because Aquí en el ejemplo es el, lo que hizo un compañero en su última vacación. But in this case, it's, it's about you, okay? So write it down. Con cinco líneas que me mande, it's enough. Usted me dice, 
¿Qué hizo en su última vacación? So remember simple past. Me va a escribir en pasado. Using verb to be or using the verbs in past. Ok. And you can send it to the WhatsApp group. Cuando ya tenga su parrafito, ya un textito, un mensajito, me lo escribe. And this is a uh, fulanito. Me pone ahí quién es. Ok. Y lo manda. The same story you have until Sunday midnight to send it. Ok. As I told you, it's not an obligation que si no me manda ese texto, reprueba el módulo. No. Pero this is practice, ok? So you need to practice. Usted tiene que vivir con el inglés, comer con el inglés, pensar con el inglés, todo, respirar con el inglés, ok? Because that's the, the learning process that you are having. So please write a small paragraph, ok? Unas cinco líneas, hay un pedacito, no es que me va a escribir una gran letanía o una carta. It's just a small a uh, paragraph, for example, oh, during the last summer, I went to my grandfather's house and I visited them over San Vicente. I was sharing with my friends. Also, uh, we did uh, a party, lo que sea. Y si no hizo nada, invente que usted comió, que usted hizo, lo que sea. No me diga, no, es que yo no mandé la tarea porque yo en la vacación Pasé solo sentado. Entonces, escríbame eso que pasó sentado toda la vacación y que no hizo nada. Ok. So, but please try to do it. Ok. So, are we clear with the homework? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Thank you. So, the same story me lo mandan ahí al WhatsApp con el nombre de quien me lo está mandando. Ok. So, let's continue. Ok. Because of the time. So, let's see. We have this activity that is a scramble. Do you know what is a scramble? Creo que sí, allí en la plataforma les aparecen many, many exercises that says a scramble. What is a scramble? Scramble the sentences. Ordenar. Thank you, perfect. Yes, it's when you have the words like in a different order and you have to put it in the correct order. So we need to scramble these uh, sentences, okay? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, okay? We have seven sentences, okay? So I will give you two minutes, okay? Two minutes, okay, for you to uh, write the sentence, the sentences in the correct order, okay? Just two minutes, okay? Let's do it really quick. Okay, let's, are we done? We're finished? No? No, teacher. No. Okay. Okay, so uh, yes, I'm, I'm not on it. So let's see, number one, Fidel. So give me the correct order for the number one. Okay, let's see, let's try. Okay, uh, last week went, I went to Tom. 
I went to Tom. No, I went to, to Tom to Paris. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Thank you, Fidel. So remember this ones, the, the red, the, the ones that are on red are the only ones. Okay, so remember that the, the expression in past that is um, um, like last week, the, 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 time, the expression that we use in past, most of the time will be at the end, okay? Most of the time it will Tom, be at the end. Uh-huh, yeah, Tom, go ahead, Cindy. Tom went to Paris last week. Okay, okay, Tom, the subject, that's the first thing that we need. Then, then uh, when we have the subject, what is next? Bird. The bird, okay. Tom went, okay, porque estamos en pasado. So the bird in past. And then we need the complement, okay? Tom went to Paris. Paris last last week. Last, last week, okay? Last week. So that will be the correct order. Remember, we need the subject, the verb, and the complement, okay? Nice. Let's see how to Eduardo, number two, this one. No, no completion, la, la segunda. Okay, you haven't complete. No problem, sí, es que Harold. No, no veía por la cámara. Entonces voy a poner, voy a hacer de la, la cuatro y la cinco. Ah, okay. So you see this. Ven, ven, ven la, la imagen que yo pongo acá. No, right? Oh, yes. 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 Oh, my God. So let me... Yes, please go ahead. Okay. We ate pizza in the park. Okay. The subject, we ate pizza in the park nice okay perfect remember that we need to um follow the the, the rule right siempre vamos su, sujeto verbo complemento Voy a hacer esto más pequeño entonces yo pensé que esto no les aparecía a ustedes okay so let's see uh number three number three will be for uh german Ahorita estoy completando la ficha. Ah, ok. No problem. No problem. Let's see en Neida. Um, aquí. Number three, the one that is in yellow. I and Sam swap the la last night. Ok, one more time. I'm sorry. I and Sam. El, esta palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia. Swam. Swam. Last night. Okay, perfect. In this case, we have like two subjects, right? Sam and I. Sam y yo, right? Sam and I swam okay. last night. What is swam? Nadar. Nadamos, nadar. nadamos, verdad? En pasado, nadamos. Nadar es swing, but in this case, it's in past, swam. Okay, nadamos. Nice. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see who. Uh, Carla, Carla Raquel, Carla Raquel. Uh, let's see the green one, number four, this one. Mm, no le he completado todavía, teacher. Ah, okay, okay, Carla, no problem. Let's see. Uh, Irene Beatriz, you can help us. Irene Beatriz, the, this one, the green. No la tengo, teacher. Oh, okay, okay, no problem. Teacher, may I? Yes, go ahead. Hilda, I guess mm -hmm. it's you. Sara taught English to the kids. Okay, Sara taught, taught, taught English, English to, to, the, the, to the kids. kids. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Okay, so what is this? This is the simple pass off. Teach. Okay. So this is the el pasado, right? Del verbo enseñar. Teach. Okay. Enseñó. Perfect. Let's continue. Okay. So Javier Artiga. Javier Artiga. Who's Javier? Okay. The this one. Okay. The blue one. Okay. Uh, the cat drank milk earlier. 
Perfect. Thank you. The cat drank milk earlier. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Drank the is milk. the simple the past. Milk. The milk. Yes. The cat uh, drank the milk earlier. Okay. Nice. So, drank is the simple pass of drink. Okay, drink, drank. Perfect. Let's see. Next, that will be for, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Astrid. Astrid uh, Cortez. Yes. Uh, Dan spoke about the science. Perfect. <laughs> science. Perfect. Science. Perfect. Science. Yes. Then spoke about science to them, okay, to them at the end. Then spoke about science to them, okay. San habló sobre ciencia, le habló sobre ciencia a ellos, to them, okay, to them. Perfect, nice. Uh, Diana Lisbeth, the last one, Diana, the purple one. Still, teacher? Yeah, put the words in order, okay? Number, the, the last one, the one that is in purple, this one. Teacher, es que se me está desconectando mucho y pues no entendí la explicación. Okay, okay. Me, no problem, no problem. Uh, what we are doing, Diana, it's putting the words in order, okay? This is an a scramble exercise, okay? Están las palabras en orden incorrecto. So we need to put the words or the sentence, in this case, in the correct order, okay? Let's see, Cordelia Elizabeth. Cordelia, can you please help us with the last one? Cordelia? Hi. Yes, can you please help us Hi. with the last one? Um, so yeah, dad, dad drove a party um, two. Okay, okay. Let's see, dad drove uh, the party to then. Okay, that will be that drove the party to them. Okay, to them. That will be the correct one. Okay, so thank you, um, Cordelia. Nice. Okay, so let's continue, okay, because of the time. So we have many, many other information that we need to cover. So let's continue. We have an exercise, por eso lo puse, porque tienen uno similar en la plataforma, que les han puesto las palabras desordenadas and you have to put it in the correct order. So let's continue with this one, okay? We have right here, oh my God. My computer is free, se ha quedado. Hello, I'm here, I don't know what happened. You Teacher. are connected. Yes, ahora sí me escuchan, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. Me, me frizó aquí, me sacó. So, but I'm here. So go ahead, I guess Astrid, I don't know if you're asking a question. Eh, con la última oración, la de Dad Draw the party to them. Uh -huh. Ahí, ¿cómo, ¿Cuál sería la traducción? Porque no, no le haya sentido, no sé si soy yo. Ok, sería el papá organizó una fiesta para ellos. Que Draw sería no es de manejar. Mm, yeah, but we have different minutes in that verb. Tiene diferente significado. And that one will be organizó, right? Organizó una party para ellos, una fiesta, right? Mm. Okay, okay. okay, gracias. No problem. Thank you, Astrid. So let's continue. We have the uh, lesson objective, the one that is uh, 4.15 by the end of this class. You will develop skills 
in reading for main ideas and details. So we have one more time. We have a, we have a reading, okay? So uh, let's see, okay? Oh my God, the time is running. Uh, and this is the reading, okay? Now we are going to see details, okay? Like in the, in the listening parts, right? So, cuando usted está escuchando un audio, usted tiene que escuchar detalles, no solo obtener la respuesta. You need to understand more details, okay? So, in this one, it says weekend stories, okay? Scan the article who had a terrible weekend. Who had a terrible weekend? Who enjoyed the weekend? And who learned a lot over the weekend? So, we have three questions right here. Scan the article, okay? So scan the article. You know what is a scan? Yes? ¿Qué es a scan? Como revisar, quizás. Chequear. Obtener la idea principal. Mm -hmm. Exactly, okay? That means que no necesito leer todo. Yo solo busco la respuesta, okay? Let's see. Uh, let's see, take a look on the, on the, we have three people right here. We have Kelly, Robert, and Erin, okay? So, and we have three questions. Who had a terrible weekend? Just a scan, okay? ¿Quién tuvo? Robert. Robert, why, okay? Why Robert, Robert has a diff, uh, terrible weekend, why? Because he had a uh, awful weekend. Okay, he had he had a awful, okay, awful, terrible, right? Awful weekend. Okay, so can be who enjoyed the weekend? Who enjoyed the weekend? Kelly. Kelly, why? Because she went she went to her best friend Ellen's wedding. Perfect, okay. She went to her best friend, uh, Helen's, okay. Wedding, that means that she went to a party, okay. So it wasn't, uh, she enjoyed the weekend. And who learned a lot of over the weekend? Erin. Erin, why? Because she went uh, camping. Perfect, for the, okay. For the first time. Perfect, she went to a camping okay and over there she learned many different activities okay so that is a scam okay that means that we don't really need to uh read the whole paragraph to get the main idea or to know what is the reading about okay so we have we already answered the questions okay so I will read it just one time okay just in case if we have any new work okay lo voy a leer rapidito because of the time, okay? It says, Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend's, uh, my best friend Helen wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Robert, I have an awful weekend, awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took uh, three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert end, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Uh, Erin, I, I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent, then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I couch, I couch a fish. 
I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Nice. Do we have any new work? Tenemos alguna palabra? Yes. Which one? Yes, sure. Go ahead, Aita. Uh, meal. Meal. Uh, see, in the, in the first conversation of Kelly. Mm -hmm. It's after uh, the ceremony, her parents are a wonderful meal. That means food. Okay. okay. Food. That uh, says una comida, como en toda fiesta. Después de la celebración, le dan comida a usted, right? So they receive a wonderful meal. That means delicious food. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Any other word? Couch. Which, which one? Couch. I couch a fish. It's like a, a pescar. Exactly. This is the simple pass. Okay. De atrapar, atrape. Un pescado. Pesqué, decimos nosotros. Pesqué un pez. Okay. So, next. Wilt. Which ben one? Wilt. In which one? It's rubber or earring? Earring. 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 Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. When fishing, I'm sorry, what it is that I have a cat? Then we built a fire. fire. Ah, then we built a fire. Hicimos una fogata, okay? So, construimos. Como decimos nosotros, hice una fogata, okay? So, ellos construyeron. Si usted traduce esto, es como construyeron una fogata. La, la, la traducción del verbo, right? Nice. Any other work? No? Okay. No? Let's continue, okay? ta -da! The last lesson, and we are done, okay? So we almost finished, okay? Next week is the last week. So we have the last lesson today. That's the lesson uh, five. By the end of this class, it says that... Um, you will be able to form positive and negative statements with the pass of B. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in real life setting. Okay, so let's see. We have right here uh, statements with the pass of B. Okay, in the book appears Something different. Si ustedes ven en el libro, está la parte de gramatical de una manera diferente. Yo se lo puse así para ver el ejemplo. Okay, we have statements. Okay, verb uh, pass of be. Okay, aquí estamos hablando del verb to be. Okay, so um, we are able to listen, I guess, Jaime. Just make sure your internet is working. Okay. So it says right here, uh, we have the to be, and we have the statements and questions, okay? It says, I was, okay? So aquí le he puesto el verb to be en pasado, okay? Simple past. And it says, look, we have the subjects right here, and you know, I was, he was, she was, it was, you were, we were, they were, okay? That is positive statement, okay? Este es el pasado de el verbo to be, okay? Then we have right here negatives, okay? Negatives, okay? The same story, negative statements. I wasn't, he wasn't, she wasn't, it wasn't, you weren't, we weren't, they weren't. Now, questions, okay? Like in the bird to be, we switch the order, right? We switch the order. So, was I, was he, was she, was it, were you, uh, were we, and they we were they, okay? Obviously, que aquí falta el complement, right? Usted le va a poner el complemento, but this is the rule. Okay, and I put right here the uh, contraction, okay, for you to keep it in mind. Was and weren't, uh, wasn't 
and weren't. Ok, acá. Esto es el, el, el pasado del verbo to be. Ok, así como usted se aprendió el verbo to be. I am, he is, we are. So now you will do it with the simple pass of be. Ok, usted dice, yo estoy, I am. Pero usted quiere decir, yo estuve, I was. Ok, acuérdese que el verbo to be almost is be or uh, zero star. That's the, 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 the way that we say it, right? Zero star. Yo estuve, yo fui. Ok, so in this case, that would be the expressions that we can use in simple past. Are we clear in this part? Yes. Remember, cuando, con quién voy a usar was y con quién voy a usar where. Ok. So, esto es lo único que usted se tiene que eh, meter en, en la mente. Y ya para hacerlo negativo, pues le pongo el, el not. Ok. Were not or weren't. Si no lo quiere usar contractado. And if you want to make a question, so you switch the order. Le doy vuelta. Pongo el was primero y después el sujeto. O el where primero dependiendo del sujeto. Okay, so let's see. We have this activity, complete the sentences, okay? And uh, we will do it in a small groups, okay? We have 10 sentences, okay? And you just have to complete with was or where, okay? So uh, take a picture. I don't know if you will continue seeing the, the page, no sé si cuando se van a los rooms todavía pueden ver mi screen. I don't know, but I will create the uh, rooms right now, okay? I will try to do it really, really quickly. I will create five groups, okay? Solo voy a hacer cinco grupos ahí con quien quede. Realizan, pero en tres minutos estas eh, ten sentences, okay? So I'm going to create five groups right now. Assign automatically five and it says open. Okay, here we go. <laughs> 